it just disappears in seven days. I'm like, Scarfinko. I'm back with another video and this happened to be my comeback video for YouTube because I've been gone a little minute. <laughs> but I'm back because I know y'all want the tea and I got tea for y'all because nobody else ain't gonna tell y'all the tea. Anyways, I go to his Instagram. I'm like, okay, this is when I finish doing hair. So I go to the, the I go to the guy's Instagram and I'm making an Instagram and I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna watch him. Oh, you is saying you just fought it. Not Did you just? Ah. Um. Yeah. So his name on IG is Poor Star. Poor Star. I'm a. He gonna put the. The video gonna be somewhere right here. Well, not the video. Um. His Instagram. His Instagram gonna be somewhere right here. His name Poor Star. Um, of course his name rang a bell in a room. So when I finished working, I did my research. I was following him for a good like three months because I need to see consistency. You know, people be editing and you know, photoshopping stuff. And I was like, oh baby, you know, he real liked the deal, like to the T. And especially of celebrities talking about him, it's just like, hold on, because this what y'all be going to, y'all don't tell nobody. Like y'all don't tell, y'all don't post. Okay, that's cute. Y'all don't want to tell nobody. Ha! I went, now I'm telling everybody, Poor Star, he's the one behind a lot of these faces, and especially mine, because y'all see, he did a dramatic change with my face in seven days. Like, not I got a chemical pill and I got to come back. I mean, I did mess up because he gives me like a little kit at the end of the session for you to like maintain your face. And I literally was like, I went through it so fast and I was planning my face because I went to sleep on my pillow. Y'all, and I have like a mark like right on the side of my face. Like, I don't even know if y'all can see it. I have a mark on the side of my face because I was picking at this shit and I was like, damn, he told me to not leave my face alone. So that's my fault. And then I got some over here too a little bit. And I still have like one little dark spot on my chin. But other than that, everything else is like tea going. Like all in seven days. A chemical pill. Um, it roughly ranged me about a little bit over a thousand because I paid the eight hundred, I believe, or seven fifty. I paid an extra hundred, I believe, because I was last minute. I called him last minute, like, look, my schedule busy. I was on a road um, with Carisha now, and I'm like, this is my schedule. Like, this is all I got. So, I pay extra. I get there. The staff is super duper nice. It's very clean. You know how you have an appointment and you got to wait? I did not have to wait no nothing. Like, everything was punctual and on time. I get there, he's asking me, you know, basically a consultation. He's asking me, you know, my skin problems, what's my issue, do I have oily skin, like, the whole nine. Like, he didn't just jump into my face, like, he actually cares. So, all that went down, I do my chemical pill with him, and the gag was, it was so fast to the point where I literally booked a hotel to stay, which is why I was roughly over a thousand, um, to spend a night. And I didn't know I was going to be going so fast. So I literally didn't end up going to the hotel. I'm not going to just go back home. Now I'm out eating with this mask on my face. <laughs> I walked through the airport with an orange mask on my face. This, this, this right here. Wherever the video is on the screen, that's exactly how the, the, the picture, that's exactly how I look going through the airport. And everybody knew who I went to. They was like, you went to Boy Star? Oh my God, how was it? And I'm literally in the line, TSA, like, I don't get paid for this. Like, but I'm like, yeah, he's, this is his IG. And you know, like, <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I went home and, you know, day one, my face was like a pumpkin. 
when I rinse it off after a couple of hours. I, I had to rinse it off about, I, I believe, 24 hours or 12 hours. I don't exactly remember because it's been like a couple of months. And my face still look nice. Um, about a couple of hours, I left it on. I had to rinse it off. Um, I was like an orange pumpkin. Like, this is a picture right here. I was like a little orange pumpkin. I was looking a little like, what the fuck did I do to my face? Like, yeah. The second day was like a little, okay, no peeling. What's going on? I paid all this money. Then the third day, it was like, come on, bitch. I'm feeling like an alligator. What's going on? Okay, bitch, this is, that's it. You, gonna, you ain't gonna peel no more. Day four, I was peeling. I woke up. I was like, yes. Day five, all the dark spots on my face had a scab. And I wanted to pick it off so bad. I was like, I want to just scratch it off so I could see. But I was like, no, come on. You got, you know, I only got two more days left. By the end of day five, going into this day six, the morning, um, you can't use any products because your face is like a little tingly, like a little... A little itchy, look very a little dry too. Um, the products I wasn't able to like really get into it yet, but I started using the products and he was like, you know, rinse and you know, gentle. So I was doing it gently and I was like dabbing my face dry, and you know, of course the skin was starting to fall off when I was rinsing it off. So I didn't have to really pick the skin that was already off, it just rinsed off with the water. Um, day seven, I was still peeling. I had a couple of more dark spots. Um, and then my spots that was like still there a little bit, it was there. Oh, it wasn't there, but it was faded. So I was like, okay, so I gotta go back and do another one. But then here's the kick. After day seven, I still was peeling. I was peeling like up. I think I was peeling for about like 15 days to be honest, like completely peeling. Um, and the more that I use the small kit that he gave me, I, you know, my skin starting to light up. Everything starts to get like the same color, tone, like, I was like, damn, I think I want to be light skin. <laughs> but it was just that under late, like that under layer of my skin. So, um, once I, cause mind you, when you go out, you gotta use sunscreen because I gotta protect the skin baby got up I literally stayed in the house though um and then after I started like I had to get back on the road I was traveling some more I was wearing my sunscreen I started getting my color back which is y'all see my neck matches versus the picture in the video that y'all see in the beginning with my after effect that I brought y'all here my skin was so bright and light like I bleached I did not bleach it was a chemical pill and you have to wait to get your color back I got my color back. Everything matches. Um, and yeah, like I just love my results for real, for real. Like, like my skin never has been this clear in my whole and fucking entire life. Probably when I was like a child and I didn't have acne, but now, like. This is crazy. I have like small moles around my eye. I get that from my grandmother. Um, y'all let me hear one day. But my the one that's living, my grandmother on my mom's side, she has a bunch of moles around and under her eyes. So I'm gonna go to Poor Star. The next time I go to him, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna record and vlog it. But uh, I'm going to go to him and see what we can do about removing my moles. Because I just feel like my age, I shouldn't be seeing no moles until I'm like 60. I give it 50. I'm probably pushing it a little bit. But I don't want no moles out of my eye. I just don't. Like, I just want all that gone. And I'm going to do another chemical pill. I'm probably ODing. But once you see the results you get the first time, it's like you just want to stay consistent and on top of it. So, I'm going to just do it to do it. But... Yeah, I had a real, like, my storyline is just, it's it's sad it took for somebody I really care about to really tell me about myself, like, bitch, you ain't all that, all that, da, da, da. Cause I heard it from people all my life, and it's like, I don't know y'all, I don't love y'all, I don't care about y'all, but it was like, it, I already heard it from somebody, yeah, you know, like, I'm looking at him like, you heard about this, I can fix this, and I fixed it, so, 
Now my confidence is like through the roof. Like I make my, well, I'm making my YouTube video, no makeup on. Um, I could start doing TikToks, real. Of course I wasn't out then, pictures and stuff. Like, you know, all these nice little good stuff. But I just feel like, you know, it's nothing to talk about. Like I'm human. This don't make nobody else ugly. This don't make me ugly, you ugly. This topic in general is really sensitive, to be honest. Um, like I said, I was really like contemplating on whether should I post it or not. But it's like, when you don't been through so much, you just don't care what nobody say no more. And I just feel like me as a person, if I had somebody to say like, girl, go to him, I would have been with him. But it's like I had to be around a certain people to be in a certain room to hear certain things. Like, you know how you go to different locations or different cities or states and a convers the conversations are different? Like, especially when you hang around different people, the conversations are different. It's just like, it's the same thing with this. It's like, you got to be in a room to hear and, you know, see stuff. So, I'm glad that I brought y'all here to my YouTube channel because guess what? Y'all heard it here first. Y'all seen it here first. Probably not first because I'm pretty sure somebody else has vlogged about Poor Star. But I feel like mine in particular, it was a lot. Like, my before and after is crazy. Like, and I'm going to do my underarms too because they're dark. I'm going to do my vagina. I got lots of what I want to do. He does all that. <laughs> but I brought y'all here for my face. My face is really what shocked the hell out of me and i'm so happy like i was literally crying to my mama i'm like mom it's the best my face ever <laughs> oh and then my makeup go on so smoother like my first time doing my makeup when i came back on the ground my pictures my videos all of them was hitting it was like no filter <laughs> no filter Y'all can't tell me nothing. Y'all can't tell me nothing. So, the fact that, you know, I went through all this for this long amount of time. Um, I want y'all to go ahead and comment below. Tell me y'all's story. Tell me what y'all going through as far as y'all acne. The stuff y'all been through as far as, like, bullying and stuff. The name calling. Like, I just really want to hear y'all's story because I just feel the need to give back. I rarely do that. Um... People, you know, take advantage of that too. So, this in particular, I feel like somebody has to prove to me. And all I have to do is like this video, share this video, go ahead and. Ooh, stop it! Y'all, I'm sorry, it's my dog. I'm losing my train of thought. All y'all gotta do is comment below, comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me below in the comments your story. I'm going to basically look at your story. If you, I don't know if YouTube could drop your pictures. That would probably be too much. But all you got to do is drop your story. I will either message you for pictures or whatever the case may be. And I will, I'm i I'm literally going to pay. Like, I already texted him and told Poor Star, like, listen, you have changed my life. And I want to do the same for somebody randomly. Tell me your story. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video. And I'm going to pay the full ride for you to get a chemical pill from Poistar. Um, I personally had got a level 2 because my shit was so strong and bad. You only probably might need a 1. It don't matter. Whatever you need, a 1 or a 2, I'm paying for your chemical pill. Okay? So, I'm excited. I get to help. I get to see the results. I could have changed somebody's life. Like, I love that feeling. Like, that's probably why I'm so in, like, love with doing hair. Because, like, the confidence you see when somebody sit in a chair. And then when they leave, it's totally different. Like, it's dead-ass different. But, back to faces. Make sure y'all comment. Tell me y'all story. Like, subscribe this video. Share this video. Y'all don't know how many people y'all gonna help. Because I'm not the only one that has bad acne or had Hey, baby. <laughs> and, you know, now I get to help y'all. So, 
Um, I know I'm only gonna be able to do one person, but you never know. Um, when I do my next vlog, when I go to him, actually, um, I'm definitely gonna do something else. I just gotta figure out what. But I just wanna welcome, you know, my nice little gifts and you know, I don't wanna say charity, but I just wanna give back on my YouTube channel because I don't feel like doing it, you know, in my personal space of doing wigs or doing my client's hair, you know, I just, you know, I just want to do something distant. I'm kind of like an introvert a little bit, but on camera, when I'm by myself, just me and my dog, you over here following me in? Come on, what you want? Yeah, he on camera time so bad. Look, say hi. Woo, you ugly. <laughs> Papa, say hi. Tupac, say what's up. Gang, 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 gang. Go on now. Go to your bed. Thank you, Papa. Yeah, so I just want to get back, you know, from a distance. If I could do that, I'm still kind of contributing to, you know. The squirt dog page, you know? You know we all been.